taking no for an answer. We have unions that have blocked our education reform. Um, teachers, um, one huge issue for me is third grade reading. Right now, New Mexico passes third graders on to the next grade when they can't read proficiently. And what statistics tell us is that if a child is not reading proficiently by third grade, they're probably not gonna graduate from high school. Before Governor Martinez took over and started instituting these reforms, we had a six, over 60% dropout rate, which means you know, we're at the top of the list of, of poverty level in New Mexico. We're at the bottom of the list in terms of education. Those two things correlate. Um, there's always a big push by the Democrats to ra raise minimum wage because you can't survive. A family of four cannot survive on minimum wage. Well, our side of the aisle says minimum wage was never intended to support a family of four. So we work, <laughs> bottom line, when, when an education system is failing their students, when they graduate them without being able to read, what kind of jobs can they get but minimum wage? So it is a terrible cycle in New Mexico, and we're gonna, we're gonna stop that. We're gonna make a change. We, these reforms are difficult, they're not easy. Teachers don't like them, students don't like them. Parents, some parents don't like them. It's mostly the unions and the rhetoric that we hear, um, how our kids are tests and how our kids can't learn because they're too poor, because their parents are incarcerated, because they go to school hungry, because they're Hispanic. Yet, this year, Hispanics in New Mexico, Hispanic students in New Mexico scored number one across the country in advanced placement tests. So whenever I hear that Hispanics can't learn because of the obstacles that, they're, that are put in front of them, I say no. I was one of those obstacles, and the Democrats despise me because they look at me and they say, She's messing up our story. She is messing up what we're selling. She, she's, not, you know, she's not one of us. Um, I was raised poor. Sometimes I was hungry. But I am smart. And I am just as smart as my white, Asian, African-American counterparts. Uh, and, I don't, and I won't let anyone tell me that our kids aren't just as smart and that if we raise the bar, that they're not going to reach it. New Mexico has a problem with lowering the bar, and we're not gonna do that anymore. We are making sure that our kids have the opportunities that they deserve, and that our kids have a bright future because we don't want them to live in poverty. We don't want them to, um, to struggle the way that their families before them have. Um, there's another, you know, New Mexico has always been number one in poverty. We're trying to make some economic changes in New Mexico, and Governor Martinez has been very, very instrumental in helping us do that. Uh, we've lowered taxes over 20 times in, in just the first four years, and we have a problem with our schools. So those are always the questions that people are starting to ask. They want to come to New Mexico. They like what we've done in terms of our business tax policy. We're always competing with Texas and Arizona, much like you guys are, I'm sure. And, and we don't want to, we're, we're taking the businesses from actually California. They're all coming, they're, they're all coming this way, which I'm happy to do that. Um, I'm happy that they are. Um, with that said, being an emerging leader, a rising star in this party, I'm proud to, I'm proud to be that. I want to, um, just like these lovely ladies next to me, I, I want to make sure that people see our faces and hear our stories, and it's important that you guys take those, out, take those out with you when you're knocking doors or helping those candidates. Um, with that said, I'm Monica Youngblood. I represent House District 68 in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and it's an honor for me to be here.